guys, Blake Cowan with RD Outdoors and Survivalist Daily here. So I'm going to talk a little bit about survival trapping as I love it. It's probably my favorite outdoor pursuit. And so I'm going to talk about that real quick. And uh, survival trapping is something that I do almost every single day. Whether I use a snare, a deadfall, or what I'm putting in my hand a rat trap. You're like, what in the world? A rat trap? A rat trap is a very, very deadly trap. It is so much pow more powerful than just any ordinary rat trap. You can use it to trap small game such as, such as uh, even rabbits, uh, squirrels, and chipmunks. You can trap all kinds of game with that. Rogue book got more than just a rat trap. It's available on Amazon. But so I'm going to talk a little bit about rat traps. There's a bunch of b brands, but the two biggest brands I would say here in the U.S. is probably Victor and Tomcat. And so I'm going to kind of compare them. I mean, if you see this trap right here. It's a kind of camouflage brown color. I spray painted that. It's really old. I've trapped all kinds of animals with this thing. It's been well used. And uh, so that, I kind of do that just to camouflage and trap more animals with it. So that's kind of what it looks like once I make all the perks. I talk about that in my book. You can look that up on Amazon. So I'm going to drop that. So now I'm going to compare the traps. We got Victor. We got Tomcat. If you go on Tomcat.com, I believe if you buy this project, it has one star. We have one out of five stars. By this project, I believe it has four out of five stars. So, I'm going to prove that why this one's better than this one. So, if you look at this trap, the mechanisms on it are very loose. As you can see, I'm wriggling them around. I mean, there's, there's nothing good to it. I mean, this piece, the trigger right here, the panel, piece of junk. Okay, crap. Okay. Then watch me. Look, look at that. Look how little power that takes me just to lift this up. Just from right here to here. Like, that takes me nothing. Okay, like no, no strength whatsoever. A baby could do that. Now watch you do it with this trap. I'm struggling a little more. So listen to that snap there. And I'll you do it to this one. This one's obviously louder and stronger. And so now I'm going to wiggle the mechanics on this. It, it doesn't at all. Like it's, it's not wiggling. It's not going anywhere. It, it's a, look at the trigger. The trigger's not even connected to the, tra the trapping mechanism itself. As is this. Like it's connected to the kill bar. This is not even touching the kill bar. They can get much more effective once the animal traps it. Another noticeable thing about this trap is that you have to get this piece anchored into here when you have the trap set, and that's really difficult trying to slide that into a, this little lip into this uh, into this little groove here. And it's, that's more difficult than just with this trap. I've never used this trap here. But so, I take this, and all I do is just latch it on there. That's all it takes once the trap is set. I pull it that. Uh, latch it onto here and that's all it takes meanwhile I have to sit there on this one and try to get it into that groove without snapping my finger off okay so this trap Tomcat is much harder to use so I would not recommend this brand because if you see there there's a cat right if you use this brand in a survival situation this cat's chasing a mouse you're gonna be that mouse right here okay now if you are using a victor trap you're gonna have victory victor so I heavily recommend using a victor trap it's a little powerful so let's get rid of that all right and so now this right here is what we're going to use to trap small game so what i use in a survival situation are peanuts obviously a lot of times when you are in a real survival situation you don't have peanuts so you're going to look for red, uh, acorns like red oak and white oak uh, hickory acorns and stuff like that but i often have some uh peanuts with me and my survival kit, I have a couple of them. What I can do, this, unlike the one I just threw down on the ground, has this cool, when we come up to the camera, has this cool little lip on the um, panel right here, and I can attach uh, the peanut right there, and it will anchor on there, it'll stay on there for hours and hours and hours, and I mean, I can leave it there for days. And it, it's very hard for an animal to pull it off. It cannot pull off, cannot pull the acorn off, or excuse me, the, the peanut off, without triggering the trap unlike the the tomcat the tomcat doesn't have this cool little lip it will not hold a peanut the only thing you can do is put peanut butter on it and so it is not a trap i would recommend so now i'm going to show you something this chipmunk i've trapped chipmunks several times probably had trapped more chipmunks than they think if they're smaller they're edible in a survival situation they have fur you probably sell a fur for about a dollar uh you can use their guts as bait trap larger animals and so i'm going to pull one up here right now He's been dead for a few days, but um, as you can see, he has maggots on it, and I'm not going to bother eating that, obviously, if I was in a survival situation. But there he is. He is dead, obviously. Very, 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 very dead. And uh, this trap has been used over and over again. It's an older trap, but like, it's still doing its job. I mean, I mean, it killed that, snapped its neck, and snapped its lower half. I mean, he is done for this nasty thing. He's been dead for a while, so I'm not going to bother eating it. 
so you got about four hours before you can't eat it or so. And so now I want to toss that because I'm not going to bother touching that anytime soon. Uh, I should have checked my trap daily like you're supposed to do according to law, but um, I did not because being in a survival situation, you can't always check all traps. So I have about 20 of these rat traps set up in these woods, and I trap squirrels, trap monk rabbits, I've even got a possum before. And so the rat trap's are very good to have in survival situations. It's the most very effective trap. So I'd carry it in your bug out bag, your survival pack. Uh, Alps Outdoors makes some great survival packs I would recommend getting, so go to Alps Outdoors, they have some great survival packs. But this is a great survival trap. Why? Because it can kill game so easily, it's so easy to use, all you gotta do is have bait. So you can go find acorns just like that. There's, some, there's a hickory tree right there, there's a big oak, red oak tra uh, tree down there. So I can find all these acorns, and that shouldn't be a problem at all for me to put that on there, because Right here, like I said, it has that lip on the on the panel that I can anchor that acorn into and it won't come off. And so this trap is very effective. So now I'm gonna pull it back and I want you to hear how loud this thing is, okay? This thing is lethal. If we were a chipmunk side, we'd die. We would have been killed by this. And so I'd really recommend having this in a survival situation. It's easily one of the best and easiest survival traps to have. You can just easily carry it in, in even your back pocket, but it is great to carry easily in a survival pack. So I'd really recommend having a rat trap with you in a survival situation. And so remember, give Victor rat trap, not not, not Tomcat. No, I'm, I'm not really endorsing anybody. I'm not paid to do this, but um, I, I like Victor much better than Tomcat because Tomcat is just junk. Uh, it'll do its job as far as killing rats, but it won't kill no squirrel. It will most certainly not kill a rabbit. It may kill chipmunk, but you're going to need more than just chipmunks in a survival situation. And so this will do the job for many, many animals. So again, I would recommend this trap. You can get it at victor.com, get it on amazon.com, go to Walmart, you get to Home Depot, wherever you want to go get it. And uh, you get a whole bunch of these. They're $2 a piece. At least at Home Depot they are. That's where I get them. $2 a piece for this trap right here. So I, I think I bought like 20 just the other day. Okay? That's 40 bucks for a whole bunch of traps. And I can, you know, I can use these traps, it's, 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 it's not a one-time use trap, I can use it over and over and over and over and over again. And it'll last me a good year. If I spray paint it, it'll make it more waterproof and it'll last even longer than that. And so you don't have to spray paint it, it'll work just as fine without spray paint, but it does add additional uh, camo to it. And uh, when you spray paint it, of course it's going to smell like spray paint, so you got to leave it outdoors for a while to get that scent off of it. And then it's more of a camo colored, and it will most certainly last longer. So if you want to spray paint it, go right ahead. That's uh, not a problem. You know, you, wrap, you wax uh, football traps, and, uh, and so it's the same thing with the rat traps. Spray painting it will do the job. It'll make it last a little longer. But you don't have to do that if you're cheap like me. And so uh, this rat trap will surely save you in a survival situation. Like I said, traps chipmunks, birds, squirrels, uh, rabbits, uh, even small possums, small groundhogs and stuff. It is a very very deadly and lethal trap so i'd really recommend it and another thing that i would do let's say a bigger animal such as a possum or a rabbit gets stuck in it what it's going to do it's going to run around in circles with this thing on its neck and then it's going to roll over and die and so let's say i trap it right here it might run all the way down there and i would have to go find that and sometimes i don't ever find my rat traps so what i would do uh, you can drill a hole i would drill a hole right here and get some nails maybe six or seven inches long and nail it into the ground stake it into the ground or you can still drill that hole and tie paracord or a bank line or something around tree and that way uh, when you have that set down the animal gets gets snapped in it and run around but it can't get nowhere and so i really recommend it, having it anchored to something whether into the ground or to a tree only because you don't want to lose your trap and you don't want to lose your food in a survival situation so that's another idea would have but it's just fine like this you'll be able to trap chipmunk and squirrel quite easily without staking it now, as far as opossums and uh, rabbits you might have more of a difficult time without staking it cause it might run off and you won't you can't find it and so uh, with uh, with squirrels it sh and chipmunks it should be relatively easy as well with birds i've trapped doves with them i love dove it's like filet mignon of the sky so i've trapped that as well uh every north american bird is edible so you can eat a robin i know that sounds gross but if i'm in a survival situation i'm gonna eat a robin you can eat a cardinal. As long as you cook it right, you can eat all kinds of birds, okay? And so you just got to make sure you cook animals right. So this can trap just about any bird. It'll kill every, almost every bird. If a crow walks in there, it's dead. If a raven walks in there, it's dead. If a, uh, if a dove walks in there, it's dead. And so it'll, it'll trap just about any bird. It will trap just about any squirrel and just about any chipmunk. And so as far as rabbits and possums, that's a maybe. But if you stake it, I'm guaranteeing you, you should be able to easily trap a rabbit or a possum. So I do appreciate you guys watching this video. Please subscribe to our channel. Please come back to Survival Those Daily and Are the Outdoors and 
so that you may some, learn some uh, survival and outdoor pursuits. Again, I'm Blake Gamma, uh, the radio show host of the Outdoors Inside Radio Show, and the editor-in-chief at Survivalist Daily, and the managing editor at the Outdoors. Thanks, guys, for watching this video, and you guys have a great day.